Good evening, boys and girls. Welcome to Candy's Cozy Couch. My name is Candace, and my nickname is Candy. That's how I came up with that really ginormous name. At least I think it's pretty ginormous. All right, maybe it's not that big, but it's a cool description of the name, huh? All right, boys and girls, you know what time it is. It's time for the checklist. 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 Just like this. All right, boys and girls, have you taken your baths or your showers yet? Check. Did you put on your PJs, specifically your favorite ones? Check. Do you have a cuddle buddy? You only need one, maybe two at the most. Check. You under your covers? All snug as a bug in the rug under your favorite blankets, nice and warm. Check, did you before getting under your covers? Did you brush your teeth? Are your teeth fresh and clean and bright and, and sparkly and shiny and gleaming and your breath all fresh? Check, let's see. You have a night light because you need a night light to navigate if you have to get up in the middle of the night to go to the bathroom. I don't want you crashing and bumping and knocking stuff over, scaring other people in the house and or having to flip a light switch because it's like at night you trying to sleep and a bright light sh sh turn on all of a sudden. It's like wake, wake up like it's sunshine in the morning. So get that together. Check. Um... Did you give your I love yous, your smooches, your cuddles, your hugs, your kisses to your family members and your pets in the house? Check. And of course, the big one. Did you say your prayers? If you didn't say your prayers, make sure you say them before you actually go to sleep to drift off into dreamland. Say your prayers first. All right, boys and girls, let's get into tonight's story. It's a Curious George book. Um, it's Curious George's Dinosaur Discovery. It's by Margaret and H.A. Rays. It's a scholastic book, and they got bonus activities inside. Yes, this is going to be awesome. On the back, it says, make your own finger puppets. Have a grown-up help you make a photocopy of this page, and then help you cut out George, the man with the yellow hat, and the dinosaur. Then you can make up your own adventures. So that could be fun, too. All right, get this book so you guys can do that. All right, here we go. Curious George's Dinosaur Discovery. Yes. Let's keep it going. Let's see what we got in here. This is George. He was a good little monkey and always very curious. George loved to go places with his friends, the man with the yellow hat. One of their favorite places to visit was the dinosaur museum. Do y'all see this? They going to the dinosaur museum. Okay. All right. <clears throat> Today is a special day, George's friend said. We are going to do something very interesting. George was curious. What could be more interesting than a trip to the dinosaur museum? The man with the yellow hat, hat led the way through the museum. George wanted to stop and look at the dinosaur bones, but his friend kept going, so George kept following. Finally, they walked right out the back door. Hey, all right. I don't know what's out the back door, but must be more interesting than what is in the museum. Let's see. A van was waiting for them outside. Climb in, George, said the man with the yellow hat. George looked out the window as the van drove off. Where could they be going? At last, the van reached a rocky quarry. Dozens of people were there. Some were digging with shovels, others were using pickaxes or other kinds of tools. Ooh, it's an archaeological dig. Yes, they're digging up old bones from the past. Looking for dinosaur bones, I assume. Surprise, George Friend said. We're going to help the museum scientists dig for dinosaur bones. I knew it. George was curious. Were there really dinosaur bones in the quarry? He ran over for a better look. Hello, said a friend, friendly scientist. Are you here to help with the dig? George watched the scientist work. She dug up some dirt 
and put it into her sifting pan. It took a long time to sift it, and in the end, no dinosaur bones. Oh well, she said, time to try again. So they just keep going over and over again, digging and sifting, trying to see if they discover some actual dinosaur bones. Nice. But the next pan was empty too. So was the next one and the one after that. George yawned. So far, digging for dinosaur bones was not as exciting as he'd expected. George was curious. Could he help to find dinosaur bones? What do you think George could do different that might make them find some dinosaur bones? Huh? Do you got, what do you guys think? What do you guys think? He found a spare shovel lying nearby. He dug and dug, but he didn't find any dinosaurs. When he climbed out of his hole, George spotted another scientist. He was dusting something with a small brush. Oh well, the scientist said, it's not a bone, just a rock. Oh dang, he found a rock. You can't do nothing with no rock. Man, this dig is lame, y'all. They're not finding nothing. Put the book down. George wanted to help. He picked up a brush and went to work. But it turns out that monkeys are not very good at dusting. As he hurried away from the cloud of dust, George bumped into a wheelbarrow. Maybe they are... Excuse me, guys. Maybe there were dinosaur bones in it. He climbed up to look inside, but the wheelbarrow was awfully tippy. Yeah, he probably going to fall out that wheelbarrow. Got to be careful. Crash! George, the wheelbarrow, and a whole lot of dirt went flying. Hey, someone cried. What's that monkey doing? George scampered away straight up the cliff. Monkeys are good at climbing, so George kept going higher and higher. Where is he going? Where is George going now? He always doing something. Y'all notice that? George always getting into something. Dang. When he got to the top, he accidentally knocked a stone over the edge. That stone hit another stone, which hit another stone and another. Oh no, it was a rock slide. Ooh, AKA avalanche. No, it was a rock slide. He done, he done messed up. George, send him home. He ain't doing right. George ain't doing right, y'all. The man with the yellow hat called for George to come down. George wanted to climb down, but he was afraid the scientist would be angry with him. But the scientist didn't look angry. Look, one cried, pointing. Look what that monkey just uncovered. Oh, wow. George could hardly believe what he saw. Dinosaur bones. Uh, it always work out for him, don't you? Y'all notice that? George be thinking he in seemingly trouble, right? He think he in trouble. And then it always end up working out for the greater good for him. Man, I can't even be as lucky as George is. I, if I'm in trouble, I'm just in trouble. After that, the dinosaur dig was even more fun. George helped the scientists dig and sift and dust and take photographs of the bones he had found. So he actually stumbled upon some dinosaur bones. Not even trying. He wasn't even trying at the time. And then they just showed up. Man, George is lucky. And the next time he and the man with the yellow hat visited the dinosaur museum, George got to see his dinosaur on display. He discovered like a whole entire dinosaur. Look at that. Y'all see that? What? 
That's pretty impressive. At the back of the book, it's got a word jumble. These dinosaur words are out of order. Can you and George unscramble them? Oh, I don't know. That first word, I think, is dig, though. Let me see. Bones is the next one. Sift, S-I-F-T, is the next one. Shovel is the next one. Pan is the next one. And dust is the final one. I solved them all. I'll let you guys look. What do you guys think? You guys see them? You see how they're spelt? See the words? Hold on, make sure you see them. Okay, so that'll give you something to look at and work on on your own time. All right, boys and girls, there you go. Another Curious George in adventure. Yeah, we can call him. We can call his adventures because he's he always gets into unknowing, unseemly, unnecessary trouble. It's funny. And it don't even really be trouble in the end. I wish it would. I wish I could be like him and get into trouble, but not really trouble. Because that's how George is. George gets into not really trouble. All right, boys and girls, let's get ready. You can be the archaeologist of your dreams. You can... You can dig up dreams. How about that? <laughs> you can dig up good dreams. See? So what you have to do is close your eyes. Whisper to yourself what you would like to dream about. Whatever it may be. Come on, archaeologists out there. Come on now, future archaeologists. Okay. And relax your body. Lay there. Be still. Be calm. Be cool. Be, be relaxed. Be peaceful. Be still. And let your body drift off to sleep into dreamland so you can dig, search, sift. I mean, <clears throat> dream your special dream. That's what I meant to say. All right, boys and girls, let me let you get down to that. Now, me and my cuddle buddies are going to get out of here. All right, boys and girls, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.